Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Bastion Weekly, your source for news on roles we're recruiting, supply chain, tech, and recruitment. Um, we are still in the midst of running our annual salary survey. I think you can find the link underneath this video or next to the video, I believe, on the, on the website. Um, but if you'd love to um, take the time and fill out the survey, we'd greatly appreciate that. You'd also enter into the draw for to win one of three $250 gift cards. So do if you take the time to fill in the survey, love your chances of winning one of those gift cards, uh, especially coming up to the holiday season. Be great. Uh, a couple of roles I just wanted to mention quickly. Still recruiting a marketing manager role in Tokyo for a global leading North American supply chain software provider. We are recruiting a senior consultant in the order management space. Uh, the role is based in Singapore. Company is a global leading supply chain software vendor as well. We are just starting the search for a New South Wales DCM manager um, based in Kemp's Creek in, in Sydney. Uh, this role will be responsible for relocating a large facility from one location to a new purpose-built 70,000 square meter plus facility that's going to have advanced automation uh, that will be quite sophisticated in terms of technology. So if you've got re site relocation experience and you've got experience working with automation, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we are still recruiting a head of logistics in the e-com furniture space. That role was based in Sydney. And we are actively looking for senior project managers in the automation delivery space. So if you've come from an integrator or one of the automation vendors or have experience commissioning and installing or overseeing the installation and commissioning of automation in warehouses, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, just a little bit on the recruitment side. Uh, I think it was last week we had um, some press come out about the um, the fast track of, I think it was two, 2 million applications for, for um, skill visas and PR applications as well. So I'm certainly hoping to see that will uh, what the effects will be from that and how that will alleviate some of the constraints around supply and talent and, and staffing and labor issues here locally in Australia. So fingers crossed that goes that that continues moving forward and, and eases some of the burdens. A lot of businesses, especially at the operational day to day level, are feeling at the moment. Um, in the supply chain and tech news, just a couple of things I wanted to highlight today. Uh, it was announced yesterday that General Motors uh, out of the U.S. has partnered with Queensland Pacific Metals uh, to to gr ensure a greater supply and continuity of supply for nickel and cobalt. Uh, this is, again, another sign of the increased demand for electric vehicles and all of the rare and and, and scarce um, uh, precious metals that are go into building these, you know, these electric batteries. And so, again, another example of supply chain security being locked up for long term partnerships. The other thing I wanted to quickly mention was uh, it was last week that TikTok announced they will be moving. Well, it appears TikTok is moving. Social media giant TikTok is moving into the e-com fulfillment space. They recently started putting up ads um, and it appears that they are going to be creating an e-com network to rival the likes of an Amazon, as an example. So, again, another 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 new entrant into the e-com fulfillment space. Great for consumers, really difficult for supply chain professionals. If there are more more, uh, more players in the space, there's just going to be less talent to draw from. And it'll be interesting to see if we continue to get new entrants into the market, what kind of constraints and, and pressures that put on operational execution and obviously fulfilling these orders as they come through from the customer. But yeah, that's, that's about it. All we've got today. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you guys next week. Have a great week. Cheers.